Hey everybody and welcome back. In this video I'm going to introduce you to something new and we're going to use this something new to build up a in-game calendar. And what I'm going to introduce you to is lists. Now if you're used to other coding languages you'll probably know lists as arrays. But in RenPy and Python we call them lists. And in order to create a working game calendar what we need to do is we need to create a couple of lists. Now the first thing we want to do is create a list with our weekdays in it. And in order to create our list what we need to do is open up some square brackets. And because our weekdays are words we need to create strings. So we'll start off with Monday. Then we'll create another one called Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and last but not least, Sunday. Now, what this has created is a, a list of strings. So weekdays is the variable, and if we wanted to create a uh, if we wanted to find out any one of these days we wanted to address one of those we would say for example uh, weekdays open bracket one weekdays open bracket one bearing in mind that it starts at zero so this is zero one would be Tuesday and we'll cover that in a little bit more detail in a very short time so as well as weekdays what we need to do is we need to tell RenPy how many days each month has so we also need to go with two more so we need to go months oops and we need to create January February I can always forget how to spell that March April, May, typing too fast for my fingers, there we go, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December, and we also need to tell Rempi how many month, how many days are each are in each month. So we'll go month days equals so thirty days have September, April, June, and November. All those have thirty one. So thirty one, twenty. Well, we won't have a leap year. We'll just have twenty eight. April, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. Just check 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Boom. So now we know what each weekday is called, what each month is called and how many days are in each month. So there's our lists. We also need to create some more variables. So we're going to say the minutes. Shall we have minutes? Yes, we will. Minutes equals zero. Hours equals, let's start the game at 12, 12 o'clock day equals zero and let me think days no we don't need to do that let's oh no we do actually yes we do because we need to know what day of the month it is so we will say days of the month is zero okay so now we have our variable set up 
we can go into our game loop but we're going to just delete that for now and we'll just create the clock here so we'll say while game running and we'll set game running as true here and we will say we don't need to say anything that's sorry wrong code language and we'll simply type in our variable so we're going to say that it is first variable we need to put in is weekdays and then we need to put in day now that may not work so I'm going to double check on that one because um, we need to make sure that we need to, we may need to turn that into an into another variable so we're going to very quickly run this first time I've run anything today as you can tell we're going to start no it doesn't like it so we need to turn that into Unicode so what we need to do is before we do anything else is we can actually create a string of everything so we need to uh, output we'll create a variable called output equals weekdays day plus put a space in now we're going to do I'm going to do the date American style because uh, you know it's easier so we'll go months oh we need to create another variable here we haven't created a month variable there we go so we'll say months month so I'm very quickly actually going to quick talk you through. So what I've done is I'm now accessing this list and I'm saying weekday. So the output is going to be Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday or Sunday, depending on what day it is. So at the moment it's day is zero. So it's going to say Monday. Then I'm adding a space. Then I'm accessing the months list and it's going to access whichever of the items in the list is being addressed by month. So that's zero. So it's going to say Monday, January plus space again kind of feeling the feeling the force on this one so this may not work we will soon find out now we need to know what day of the month it is so it will be days but that's an integer so we need to turn that into a string so we use str to say that we want to turn this number into a string and that's all we need to do so now we should just get away with putting output into there and now once we've clicked we need to increment oh we haven't put a time in shocking right so we need to go plus str string hours And now we need to go plus and we're going to put a colon in there just like proper time and then plus again and then str and we're going to say minutes so that should now create a string we will soon find out and once we've clicked the mouse each time we're going to say minutes we're going to go up in 30 minute increments plus equals 30 and we're going to say now we need to say if minutes is greater than 60 minutes equals zero get my pound sign we're in rempy not in python here and we're going to say hours plus equals one now if hours tick over to 24 so if hours is greater than 24 
no it's 23 actually if it goes over 23 because we're in 24 hour clock then hours equals I forgot my pound sign again shocking equals zero days now which one was which we're saying weekdays day plus equals one and now we need to do it for days so if day is greater than six day equals zero and month plus equals one and lastly we'll just do it so that if month is greater than 12 11 even month equals zero like so so in theory that should now work whether it does or not we will find out let's have a look let's run it if it falls over if we get a uh, an error so january the monday january the 0th okay so i need to change that at 12 o'clock 12 30 12 60 okay so we need to make a couple of changes there let's just check that the uh, the days tick over correctly though 22 23 there we go tuesday january the 0th so the day is not incrementing yes okay so the first thing we need to do is change this so if minutes is greater than 30 we don't need it to go all the way to 60 let's change that and we need to type in string days plus one so that it says the first and we also need to change that so this is day and not days because that's incorrect uh, okay so that should fix that okay now i did notice that i made a bit of a boo-boo there we need to check that the month shouldn't tick over at the end of the week so we just remove that and we need to check we need to increment days as well and we're actually typing in days up here that was my mistake yes and now we need to do a check here if days is greater than the number of days in each month so we need to go month days and which month are we in so we need to check which month we're in then we say month plus equals one and then we reset days to zero days equals zero so that should now work correctly the time is still going to display a little bit bonkers at the moment um, but we'll we'll cover that in the next video and how to change the way that um, text is represented for example the minutes is going to say zero instead of zero zero which is the time that we would usually see so we shall now see how that works start monday january the first 12 o'clock 12 30 one o'clock 1 30 so on and so forth let's check that the time ticks over at the correct time boom midnight on tuesday january the second and then if we were to continue clicking that would obviously eventually get to the end so we're going to do that now this is extremely boring so i'll hold down no i can't do it I'm holding down the space bar so i'll have to keep clicking and uh, rather than have you sit here watching you can just take my word for it that the month will tick over <laughs> so that's that so there you go that's a very very basic example of how we can use lists and access them 
Um, I will very quickly run through it one last time just to make sure that everybody's happy. So we've created our list of weekdays, Monday to Sunday. We've created our list of months, January to December, and we've created a list of number integers that tell us how many days are in each month. And then we've created variables to say how many minutes there are, how many hours there are, which month we're in, what day we're in, and which day of the month we are in. So this day here is the day that tells us which weekday we are in, not which, not what the date day is. That's what this one is. Days is the month day. So when we create our output, we're saying it's weekday day. So which day of the week it is which month we are in then we're creating a string out of the month day remembering to add plus one because this starts at zero it doesn't start at one then which hour we are at then which minute we're at so if we wanted to we could completely remove the minute and just display which hour we're in and we could actually just alter the code to remove the hour so then we're just printing the output to screen after we print the output to screen, we run our game logic. So every time we click the mouse or press the space bar, we add 30 minutes to the game. If minutes is greater than 30, so it goes 0, 30, then it'll go reset back to 0 again. And then we add an hour. If the hours go over 23, it resets the hours to 0 and it increments the day of the week and the day of the month. If the day of the week goes over six, it resets it to zero because this doesn't need to increment anything else. That so just goes Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. If the day of the month is greater than the number of days in that month, then we add a month and we set the day of the month back to zero. So it goes back to the first because we print it at plus one. If the month goes over 11, because bearing in mind that January is zero, so December is 11, then it resets back to January again. And that is how that works. Thank you very much for watching. I look forward to seeing you in the next video.